I need to put my phone on, do not disturb. <laughs> hey guys, it's Deanna and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I want you to show me how to get to know someone like you. So as you can see by the title of this video, for this week I'm going to be answering your assumptions about me. Earlier this week I asked a question on my Instagram story and I just asked for your assumption about me before you met me or if you haven't met me, what was your assumption and I got a bunch of responses. So for this video I'm just going to be responding to them, letting you guys know how I am and how I'm not. Okay so I just screenshotted a bunch. And I didn't really read them all yet. Some of them from my friends I read because they were just really funny. <laughs> if you don't follow me, it's just at Deanna Rispoli, my name. I put this question and I said, I want to hear it all. So I got some responses. Here we go. Oh, this is a good one. This assumption is that I'm a homebody that never goes out. <laughs> no, I don't think that's true. I'm definitely a homebody. But I do go out. When? I try to go out. <laughs> Don't go out the house, bro. I like to go out with my friends. Okay, you know what? I, I don't go out. That's right. Okay? That's fine. That's, that's a true assumption. I'm definitely a homebody. Okay, this one says that I have a resting bitch face. Yeah. An RBF. It's not, I don't think I'm a bitch, but. You have RBF though. I do have that. I'm really nice, like, if you actually want to have a conversation, but. Well, I think this person that I got the assumption from goes to the same college I go to, and usually around campus, I, like, have a hood up, or my face is just very. RBF. RBF. <laughs> so I guess. I don't mean to have that. It just kind of. I just kind of have it. But if you actually like want to come up to me and have a conversation, like let's let's talk it up, okay? This next assumption says, "Very pretty, but looks stuck up." I don't think I'm stuck up. <laughs> if you ask anybody that knows me, I'm, that's definitely not a quality that I have. But I guess maybe this ties along with like me having an RBF. Um, this next one is my favorite. She said, "The campus counselor with the orange hair flower." Now my best friend. Shout out to Alexa. You know that you wrote this. Um, she met me when we were like 10 or 11 and I had my hair in a huge like high ponytail with this orange like neon orange flower in my hair and we were at a dance convention and that same exact night we had a sleepover. like. Yeah, so good assumption because that was that was me to the T when we met. <laughs> I knew we were going to be friends because we were both lost in ballet together. <laughs> and then she also said, very bubbly and smiley. Yeah, I think that's that's a true assumption. I think I'm always, especially, I mean, if I'm like in a good mood, I'm definitely like the more smiley, upbeat type of girl. And yes, we were definitely both lost in ballet class, like looking around, doing the tandus, like what is going on right now? <laughs> This next assumption says a girl that had stomach issues and a big gap in her teeth from some retainer and someone that always is on crutches and is never in school. <laughs> that actually describes my grade school, like my elementary school years to a T. I missed like 50 something days of school one year because I was like finding out that I was lactose intolerant. but. Throughout that period, I literally missed so much school because my stomach hurt so bad, like I actually couldn't go. And then the next one that I had a big gap is just a traumatic story of mine. If you know me personally from when I was in the fifth grade, you know that I had a huge embarrassing gap in the front of my teeth because I had a permanent, or what is that called? A retain, what is that called? A retainer? Uh, no, a pa I had a palate expander oh, I was not and you like have to like crank it and the lady like my orthodontist made me crank it too much so it like literally made a gap in my teeth. <laughs> if you want the details on the traumatic story that could actually be a whole video in itself 
and if I wanted to embarrass myself I could include pictures because my entire fifth grade year I smiled like this <laughs> because I was so embarrassed so if you were in school with me you knew exactly how I looked and it was it was so so sad <laughs> someone that was always on crutches yeah I got hurt constantly at dance I had like chronic tendonitis in both of my Kayla's attendance so I was always on crutches like I would literally wear crutches during the week at school and then on the weekends either travel for dance or like take my boot off and not wear my crutches and like compete at a competition so I was always on crutches at school that's that's definitely a great assumption because that was a fact like I think if there was like middle school or elementary school like superlatives the one that's like never here that would have been me. In high school too, I was never in high school either. <laughs> and I actually got really, really good grades always in school, so. But I was never there. This next assumption says, a weird girl trying to have a sleepover me with me the first time we met <laughs> with a bunch of laughing pieces. This was one of the girls that I had a sleepover with. <laughs> Literally the very first day, like, I was like, hi, like, I'm Deanna. Like, can we have a sleepover tonight? <laughs> in a hotel room. And they're like, sure, like, who the fuck, who is this girl, like, trying to sleep with us in the bed? <laughs> like, literally, fast forward, like, almost 10 years, and we're still so, so close. So, good thing I asked to have a sleepover, okay? Next one says that I am short. I don't categorize myself as short. I'm 5'4", so I think that's just, like, average height for a 20-year-old girl. You think I'm short? If you're looking at pictures of me next to Nathaniel, then like I guess I'm gonna look short, but if you look at me in pictures with like all of my other friends, we're all like the same height. So I just think that's like a normal, a normal height. <laughs> this one is good. It says a no bullshit type of person. I think that's a good assumption of me. I like definitely don't take crap from people. If you're like doing something that's questionable, I'll de definitely let you know like what's going on with that. But then again, I also don't really like confrontation. I think yes and no. The people that I care about, I'm just like, what's going on? And I'll say something, but like, if I don't care about you, then I'll just let you do you and just keep it away from me. <laughs> Someone else assumed that I act grown. I don't think I act grown. I guess that just, he thinks I act grown. I guess it just like kind of goes back to like me not really going out and being a homebody. Um, if you think that's me acting grown then I guess. Um, I definitely am more mature for a 20 year old than like most. Um, so yeah. <laughs> okay, I think I'm only gonna do one more. With the assumption that I'm actually gonna end this video on because I thought it was really interesting that anyone assumed this. They said that I don't mess with other dancers anymore. Oh, juicy. Juicy. <laughs> But that's like actually so far from the truth. I guess if you sort of follow me um, around the time that I lived in LA, then I was constantly with like the other dancers, my friends, all the time just because I lived in LA and so did they. But that's so far from the truth. I'm definitely still friends with them, always talking to them, always on FaceTime with them. I'm just not living in LA anymore. So when we see each other, we act like, nothing has changed just because i don't post like every time i'm with them doesn't mean that we're not super close like the dancers that you guys are thinking about are some of my best friends and girls that would have my back like literally for my whole life juicy. so juicy. juicy what was your assumption before you met me oh this woman's really pretty this woman i was like 15. that's what i know you carried yourself like a woman <laughs> she's really cute and she's a dancer. Really connected spiritually in herself though at that age. Shout out to God, okay? Really? Always really like sure of my morals. That's a good, yeah. Morals. Sure of my morals, yeah. Facts, your morals, is like, <laughs> you stand on those. That's it for the assumptions video. I had a really good time reading these. I laughed a lot at the throwback ones and found a lot of them really interesting. Um, thank you to everyone that I didn't read in this video that responded with such a nice compliment. I really appreciate that. 
Um, I post new videos every single Monday, so subscribe to my channel. Make sure you do that. Like this video and comment down below any more video ideas. I'll see you guys next week. Peace. <laughs>